For the first time this year, the Texas Department of State Health Services has confirmed a case of the measles here in Bear County. My name is Dr. Leo Lopez. I'm a physician and scientist here in San Antonio. To date, all across the state of Texas, there have been a little over than 750 cases of the measles that have been confirmed, with almost 100 hospitalizations, and unfortunately, two children have also died from the measles this year. I'm especially worried about our community here in San Antonio moving forward. We know that to protect ourselves from an outbreak, we need to maintain uh, at least 95% of our residents being vaccinated against the measles. However, we hover at around 94%. Uh, what's even more worrisome is that there are some kindergarten campuses that are even well below 90%. This is putting all of us at risk of a future outbreak. Uh, but there's some things that we can do together. Uh, if it's time for your child or your grandchild to get vaccinated against the measles, we've got an effective vaccine. Talk to your doctor uh, or your uh, local pharmacy or local health department about getting the MMR vaccine. That'll start around 12 to 15 months of age uh, so that kids can get uh, their vaccines on time when they need them. What's even more troubling, I think, too, is the... Um, misinformation that is out in the community, out on social media. A recent poll by KFF uh, found some disturbing findings. Uh, it found that around 60% of adults uh, have heard uh, the false claims that link autism to these MMR vaccines. Uh, the poll also found uh, that around 30% of adults have again heard the false claim that the MMR vaccine is somehow more dangerous than the measles itself. Uh, but what really shook me uh, was that this same poll found that about half of adults weren't certain whether or not these claims were true or false. But this misinformation puts all of our health at risk. So we can work together here too. If you've got friends or family members that are spreading misinformation online, connect with them. Share with them credible information. Ask them to take this down. If you come across uh, some misinformation as well, uh, take some steps to, to report it and work to, to, to get that offline uh, as well. Uh, being part of a community means that we look out for each other, that we take care of each other, and that means protecting our health and safety. Uh, so let's work together on this uh, as we uh, take these uh, steps forward to make our, our community um, a little healthier.